Hello from wherever you are watching us and welcome to this new tutorial where we are going to be learning how to create landing pages using Google Sites. To do that, you will go to sites.google.com and if you have any Gmail account logged into your PC, it is the account that will be used to create that site. So be careful as you create the accounts so that you can use the Gmail that you would want to use. Once on sites.google.com, and I'll be leaving a link to that website in the description of this video, you notice we have some templates that you can use. We have them here. Like we have the family update, we have the portfolio, we have event, and then we also have the help center. But we want to create our own from scratch. But using the template is the easiest because you are going to be editing that. But if you are able to create one from scratch, then it should be so easy for you to create one using the templates given. So to do that, you click on start a new and you click on the blank one that has a plus sign and it brings you to this site. So you can either go through the tour to see what you can do with this one. But in this case, we are going to click on skip the tour, but we are basically going to be taking that whole tour together. So on the right hand side you notice we have the tools to use which are under insert and we have pages where you can now add the pages and we have the themes where you can select the theme for your landing page if we come back to pages you notice here we have the home page if you click on the three dots you can duplicate that page and then you can also add a sub page to your home page but in this case our interest will be on how to just create the landing page. So we can enter the site name here. I'll call this site Joshnet Production. I can also add a logo. So you simply click on that add logo. And then you now can go for brand images, which you will upload. In this case, I'll upload from my PC. I click on upload. Then I have my logo here. And then I click on open. And then once you see here, the logo has been uploaded. So the logo has been uploaded. Then down here, if I would want to use the logo colors for my theme, I will click on this. So, but in this case, I just want to use any other colors that I would want. So I don't have to click on that. But if I do, it will then select the colors of my logo, which are black, red, and white. So having added the logo, I'll close that. And then I come to this page. I double click on that. Then I'm now able to edit this. I highlight that, then I can type what I need. In this case, I'll just put my title again, Joshnet Production. And I can drag this sideways to make it fit what I want or the section that I want. And I can also edit it to change the font type, the size, the font color, the font color, and so on. So in this case, we have the styles here. I can choose the title style and choose title so that it's bolded. Then for the font, I can choose one. For instance, let me use impact. I can also change the color. I highlight, click on that A, and then select the color. In this case now, it is red. Then I can change the image here by clicking on this image icon here. With the drop down menu, I'm able either to upload or select. Let me first use the upload method. I'll click on upload. Then I'll come to my PC and then I'll select the image that I would want to use. So I'll click the image named camera. Then I click on open and you notice the image has been added. That's one way. If I want to make changes on this one, on the image, I can click on reset and the image is changed. The other way I can upload the image is I can click on image, then I click on select so that I'm able to select the images from gallery by URL. I can also search or from my albums or I can use Google Drive. So in this case, I'm going to search and then here I'll search the image that is in line with what I do. Then I'll just click the image of a camera and search for that. So I'll type camera and search for that image. And I'm now free to use any of these images 
So you notice they have at a well-stocked gallery where I can select the image. So let me use this dark image here and then I select it and click down here on select. It's adjusting for readability here and there we have our image. I can still come here and change the font color to something that I feel is visible or can be seen in a better way. So once you change something, it's still possible to keep on changing it time and again. Again, I can also drag this text depending on where I want it to appear. To do that, I simply come to the edges, either drag it downwards or I can drag it upwards. I can still select a different image. Then I can click on search or I can use the gallery that is here. In this case, let me use the gallery. I select on that one. Then I click on select. And there we have it. So we have our title there. Now let's come to this site. So let me change the color of that. Uh, so let me change the color of this font to be red so that it's visible. So how now do we use these items on this side? One, we can use the text box and to do that, you simply click on it and then you, you simply click on it and it adds itself here. And then you can also place it wherever you want to place it. So I've just clicked on it and now here I can type for all your video needs. I can still edit that text. To arrange the texts, I can just click at the top of this text. Then I drag it and I drop it and I drop it just before my title. To change, to arrange this text, I can simply drag it and drop it just below my title. And there we have it. So that is how you use the text box. So for the images, again, if I click on images, I'm able to do the same thing. I can upload an image or I can select it. Let's come to the content blocks. So these content blocks, as they appear here, you notice we have an image symbol here and a text here. We have two images here and text below it. So I can use any, any content block here. Let me use the second one. So I'll drag it and drop it. So you now notice we have it here. I have the option to add an image here and a text below it another image here and a text below it. So if I click on that plus, I'm able to select an image and I'll select the image again. Then I go to my PC and then I can select an image there, the image of the rings. I add it there. Then for the text here, I can now create a text just by clicking and typing wedding videos. Then I can come to this side I'll go to Google Images and then I'll search in Google Images. So in this case, I want to add a video on pots. I click on search. So let me select this one. Then I click on insert, creating image. There we have it. So wedding videos, spots and games videos, and there we have it. So another thing we can do is that we can add collapsible groups. So to do that, I'll just click at the end there. And then I click on collapsible groups. So we have it there. So we can add the text there, add another text there. Let me add something here, like contact us and down here about us. So now you notice I've added about us and contact us, but it's a collapsible group. That's why you can't see both. That means if I want to see the collapsible group, I click on the drop down arrow and we have it there. If I add it and I feel I don't need it to be collapsible, I simply check here or uncheck it. So now they are not collapsible. You notice now I can see them both at the same time. So next, let me show you how to use the button. You simply come to the button here. So I want the button to be somewhere below here. So I'll click there. Then I'll click on button. Then I'll give the button name. Let me call the button volunteer with us. And then I can create a link to that such that maybe I want people to volunteer working with us and add a link maybe to a file, to a form or to anything that this button will do. In this case, I can add a form. Then I'll click on insert. And now you notice we have our button here and we can drag it to enlarge it. 
and such that now, once we publish this site, a client or a customer will click on volunteer with us and will be taken to that link. So next I can use social links. Then I click on social links. You notice it gives me icons for common social sites, which will appear automatically after saving. So I can add there, then I can select. Then the same way we were doing the search, I can add the icons that I want there. Maybe I want WhatsApp, I click on that. Then I can select one, maybe this one. I click on insert. So we have WhatsApp there. Then I can add my WhatsApp link there. Then once I'm through, I can add another one maybe for Facebook, YouTube and all that. Then I click on insert. So in this case, I have not added the link there. Let me just add a YouTube link. Then I click on insert. So you notice now we have our WhatsApp icon on our landing page. So you can also add others directly like YouTube. You can add a calendar to your landing page. You can add your location. In this case, let's do this as the last one, how to add the location. You simply click on map and then you select where you are. In this case, let me select Nakuru, Kenya. So it will search that place. I can even give more details exactly where by searching and dropping the place mark here. Then once I do that, I click on select. So it will add the map there of our location. So you can explore further on how to create such beautiful landing pages using Google Sheets. Once you are done, you can click on publish. But also another thing you can do here is you can click on more and then you can make a copy of your website such that if you decide to make changes on one, you will still have the original one, especially if you make drastic changes. You can also share with others on this one. You can preview on a PC how your landing page will look like. You can also decide to look on that using your phone and this is how it will look on a mobile device. So you can preview those two. You notice how neat it will look on a mobile device also. So I'll go back to my large screen and I'll exit the preview. So if you are satisfied with your work, you simply click on publish. And once you do that, you now get your web address here. And then you can decide on the who can view your site. In this case, you click on manage. So if you want to be the only one who can see that, you don't share that link, you click on that as the owner, but you can also decide here on general access, data restricted or published site, you can decide on who will see that. And you notice that published viewers can see the site after it is published. You click on done and then you click on publish. So your landing page has just been published and if you want to make changes, you can click on the drop down menu and then you can unpublish or you can publish, you can access the publish settings. So that is how you basically create a landing page using Google Sites. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.